Hi, welcome to another video review by Everything Dinosaur. And this time we're going to review a prehistoric animal model, which is not only a new model, but it's from a brand new company. Specifically, the new Protoceratops figure from Wild Past. So, let's jump straight in. So here we are. This is the New for 2020 Wild Past Protoceratops model in 1 to 35 scale. Specifically, it's a model of Protoceratops andrezi, one of two species associated with the Protoceratops genus. I will explain a little more about that in a few minutes' time. But first, let's take a close look at the model. The head shield has been exquisitely designed, and by the size and shape of it, we suspect that this model depicts a male Protoceratops. A bull, if you were. Now we were going to show the Wild Pass Protoceratops andrusai, the 135 scale figure, in comparison with the recently introduced uh, Wild Safari Prehistoric World Triceratops. However, our dear friend Matthew the Dinosaur King on his YouTube channel has already produced an excellent video review of the Wild Pass Protoceratops, and he uses this Triceratops to show the scale. So we won't talk any more about the size of the Wild Pass Protoceratops in our video, we'll just put a link to Matthew's excellent YouTube channel in the notes below our YouTube posting. Two species of Protoceratops are known. The first, Protoceratops andrusi, was named and described in the early 1920s, following an expedition to Inner Mongolia led by Roy Chapman Andrews on behalf of the American Museum of Natural History. The second species was named and described in 2001 by Oliver Lambert and colleagues from the Royal Belgium Institute of Natural Sciences. This species is called Protoceratops helena corinus. Now helena corinus was actually a larger animal than andrusai, but just because it's bigger doesn't mean to say that's how we assign it as a new species. The actual uh, designation of Helenocorinus is based on what we call cranial autopomorphies. There are differences in the skull and the way the skull bones are shaped and the way they knit together, which indicates that Helenocorinus is actually a different species from Protoceratops andrusi. Now we don't know whether Helenocorinus is younger than Protoceratops andrusi. It's difficult to date the geological formations where those fossils come from because they're sandstones representing wind-blown dunes and it's very difficult to date them stratigraphically. No matter which species of Protoceratops you're discussing, biologists now know that the environments that these dinosaurs lived in were very harsh and very challenging. Whichever species of Protoceratops you're talking about, we know that Protoceratops was one very tough dinosaur living in what we call a stressed environment. Protoceratops andrusai, Protoceratops helenocorinus, they were very tough critters indeed. Let's take a look at the size of this model. It is a 135 scale replica of what is a small dinosaur. Protoceratops andrusai was probably no more than 1.8 metres long. Now if we look at our model compared to a geological ruler, uh, the ruler does tend to dwarf it somewhat. But the model itself is around 6.5 centimetres long. And that head shield and those beautiful bristles, they stand about three centimetres high. It is a beautifully sculpted and beautifully detailed plastic dinosaur figure. We love the little details, such as the way the claws have been depicted on the feet and the highlighted jugal cheek horn, which is on the side of the face. Beautifully done, wonderfully illustrated. This is a great new model from a brand new model making company well past. Our congratulations to them. The model is supplied in a beautiful presentation box, the artwork of which was done by the talented artist Joseph Fells. A quick note about pricing. At Everything Dinosaur, this figure is currently on sale for $9.99 plus tax, if applicable, and postage. The reason why it's at 9 99 is because this figure is a very limited production run. Compared to other prehistoric animal models, it's a very small production run indeed. 
So if you want this figure, we will put a link to where you can purchase it at Everything Dinosaur. The price, at the moment, just $9.99 plus tax, if it's applicable, and postage. The dinosaur model is also supplied with little round plastic nests full of newly hatched Protoceratops babies. A nice touch from wild past, as this dinosaur is synonymous with dinosaur eggs. In 2011, a scientific paper was published that finally described a nest associated with Protoceratops andrusi. Just like the wild past model, the nests contained recently hatched babies. Analysis of their tiny fossil bones demonstrated that the baby Protoceratops were incapable of moving far on their own, and that Protoceratops probably was an altritional species. That is, the young relied on their parents to feed and to look after them. There is much to be admired in the details shown in the wild past Protoceratops nest, and it's great to see that this replica comes with a nest of youngsters, reflecting the fossil record. So there you have it, Everything Dinosaur's video review of the Wild Pass Protoceratops Andrusai figure. Now we will post up some links to some blog articles we've written about Protoceratops and Wild Pass in the text below, along with a link as to where you can buy this model from Everything Dinosaur. Oh, and we'll also include a link to Matthew the Dinosaur King's channel so you can see his video review of this model too. And on that note, I'll say thank you.